treated would have to go to the hospital, I would get under condemnation because I'm the father. I'm the preacher. I'm Mr. Faith Preacher. And here my son, who, thank the Lord, has been saved from uh, death at birth, but now he's getting a little bit older, and every time we turn around, he's getting sick and having to go to the hospital. And we would pray for him, and it wouldn't, whatever was a problem, wouldn't, so we had to go to the hospital. And I would feel under condemnation. Satan would put that on me. You're not a good father. You're not doing a good job. You don't have enough faith. What, you know, what's wrong with you? If you were a, had more faith, you wouldn't have to be going to the hospital like this all the time. I think he went 17 times in the first two years. And it got to a point, the way I handled it was to say, okay, Pam, it's your decision. You know, you want him to go to the hospital? We'll go. It's your decision. Of course, that's making her feel really bad. <laughs> so about on the 17th time, and uh, we'd hold out a long time, then he'd really have to go. We went by Peter's house, doctor, a relative, and, and, and I stayed out in the car, and I prayed, and the Lord reminded me of something. When I was a young man in college and school and went to the Christian church there at the university, there was a split in the church, and uh, they wanted me to choose sides, two brothers that had a split, and I loved them both, and I said, I'm not choosing sides, I'm just going to love both of you. So they let me know I wasn't welcome at the church. <laughs> and I remember I was walking across the campus, and all this condemnation, boy, look, he kicked you out of the church, and, you know, and you, you know, you're really making a mistake, and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, the Lord broke through that and spoke to me. And he said, uh, do all things, quoted a verse, do all things without murmurings and disputings. And, you know, uh, and, he, and, and then he said, this includes the devil. In other words, don't listen to the devil. You know, somebody comes along uh, complaining or murmuring to you and trying to get you into a dispute. Uh, he says, don't, don't do that. But the devil comes along and begins to say bad things to you, condemn you. He said, don't, don't listen to that. And I said, but Lord, I said, suppose they're right. Suppose I am off base. And then they're, you know, and, and the Lord, these words just came very clear to me. Uh, in Hebrews 13, I think verse 18, he says, uh, in all things we are willing to live honestly. We trust we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. And God said, if Bill, if you're willing to live 